to lift up your hand and just begin to worship God. Bless God. Tell him thank you for the gift of life. Thank him for his mercies in your life. King of kings, Lord of lords, ancient of days, blessed be your lady. Ancient of days, as old as you are. As old as you are, you will never change. You will never change. Ancient of days, ancient of days, oh, as, as old as you are. You are. Yeah, as, as old as you are. You, are. you will never change. You will never change. Ancient of days, ancient of days, as old as you are, 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 you will never change. You for oh, your mercies endure forever. Amen. Amen. For your mercies. For oh, your mercies endure forever. For your mercies endure For your mercies endure forever. Amen. Amen. God said that you tell somebody that the enemy is trying to bring division or separation between you and your destiny ever. But God said that he had just cancelled that satanic move. Open your mouth and pray and say, Father, thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for sound mind. Thank you for your mercies. Thank you for your blessing. Thank you for the victory of sleeping and waking up. Thank you for all the benefits you have for me today. Thank you. Thank you. Blessed be your lady. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. I thought I would hear a louder amen. Thanksgiving is one of the ways to make advancement in life. When you thank God, you attract the hand of God to help and promote you. David was a thank giver. He made up his mind. He, in the book of Psalm 34 verse 1, he said, I will bless the Lord. How many times? At all times. And his praise shall continually be in my mouth. In the book of Psalm 118, 
verse 24. Psalm 124. He said that this is the day that the Lord has what? Has made. What should they do? We will rejoice and be glad in it. In the book of Psalm 57, verse 7. Psalm 57, verse 7. He said, my act is fixed. My act is fixed. Oh, I will praise thee. Open your mouth and pray and say, Father, regardless of what the enemy may be doing in my life, I say thank you. Open your mouth and give thanks. The devil will be mad. Whenever you are saying thank him, regardless of what the enemy may be doing in your family, in your ministry, in your career, in your home, regardless of what the enemy I say thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Many times people want God to do good to them. You want God to do good things to you. You want to explain God's goodness. But you know one thing? Nothing goes for nothing. You must also do the kind of good that God wants. What does God really want to serve? Psalm 92. Psalm 92, verse 1. The Bible says that it is a good thing to give thanks to the Lord and sing the praises of God. It is a good thing. So if you are looking for one good thing to do, oh God, so that he will return by doing good to you, because those that honor me, I will honor. Whatever you do to God, that's what he does back to you. They have given up a spoil in this examination. They say that it is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High. When you do the good thing that he likes, what will he be doing for you? The good thing that you like and what are the good things you like? Your prayer requests, you want the things you want in your life. Open your mouth and say, Father, I thank you. There is none like you. You are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. You are the beginning and the end. You are the middle. You are my holy Lord. You are everything to me. Blessed be your lady. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Spirit of the living God, tabernacle are fresh upon us. We that are here and our brethren that are connecting online life and the one that we yet connect to the recorded version. Let your power flow like never before. That which has kept us down, destroy it from our lives. Take us to the height we have never risen to. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Jump those hands together for Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Please be seated. I give glory to God for another opportunity. Maybe I told you last time that I will be bringing Muka foam or Veta foam here to be sleeping. You can see that I have come within the space, space because God honors the desire of the out of his child's mouth. Because this place is home to me. My daddy and mommy, they are in this place. And wherever your daddy and mommy are, what is that? Home. God bless. Let me to clap for yourself for even getting that answer. I bless God for the life of my daddy. Pastor Sunday Avose and my mommy, mommy Ruth Avose, they have decades now running. And they have been there, always been there, always watching over somebody like us, concerning us, correcting us, and wishing us well, and praying for us. I pray that the Almighty God, the great promoter, we keep on lifting them higher and higher in the name of Jesus. If your amen is louder than that, you too, you be lifted higher. Yeah. Amen. I want to appreciate the ministers of God in the house and the workers and everybody. God will honor you. The great promoter, that is the team that aspired online to get that is for this month. The great promoter. In the book of Psalm 75, 6 and 7, Psalm 75, 6 and 7. The Bible says that for promotion cometh not from the east, not from the west, not from the south. But they did not tell us about the north. 
but the north position is facing up so they remove the north from the four cardinal point promotion does not come neither from the east nor from the west nor from the south but God who is northward in compass is the judge he put it down one and set it up another can I quickly decree to your life that as you have come to this particular mountain today you are receiving divine promotion in any area of your life that you have been small God is lifting you higher in the name of Jesus God is connecting you with your somewhere that will anoint you onto higher ground open your mouth and pray and say Father divinely promote me in every area of my life I've come to realize that promotion comes from you divinely promote me divinely promote me thank you father in Jesus mighty name we have prayed I love you guys because you are doing very well you are doing the prayer anytime we rise to pray you pray with all your heart because your life could depend on it whenever you are in God's presence any good thing can happen because the atmosphere is already charged with God's presence hence your words being released into the atmosphere receive divine approval please be seated why because number chapter 14 28 number 14 28 the bible said as they have spoken in my ears so will i do so anytime you have been told to pray from this altar just rise and pray don't don't mind who is sitting beside you because that prayer could make the whole of difference in your life the great promoter and that is god there's a particular brother he went for a program like this it's kind of program this good money of the spirit is a powerful program that i've been running for years now and he came he happened to work in an oil company in the south southwest region and so many things have been working he was number 12 12 in hierarchy on the Kedah. And when he came, and the topic being considered and be likened to what we are talking about this month, the great promoter. And he prayed. By the time he went back to work, something started happening. All of a sudden, there was unrest. The junior staff and the other people uh, against the management staff and they were to the extent that they shut down the company they said that no production nothing they were not doing any production then the white partners had to fly in what is happening they realized that you people are not producing anymore what's the, the union they said that this management staff they are wicked they are not taking care of us appropriately so what do you want? Because you have to start promotion, production. He said, dismiss all of them. Ah. And I dismiss the whole of the money. We don't want them. Or oh, else we have grounded the whole thing. No production. Those ones, they want their work to go on. They say, okay, okay, we have, we have heard you. But is there nobody that we can put at the end of affair for now? They say, eh, okay, that man, that man, that brother that went for this kind of service, he said, that one is a child of God. He is, he, he is reasonable. He, let him be the one that will stay. Other people. And that was number 12 in hierarchy. Those people, they said that we love you. They told the management staff, but we love our work and our finances more. So they said to them and they left. That was how this number 12 became number one. And they now brought in other people and the work continued. The great promoter took him from being number 12 to becoming number 1. There is somebody under the sound of my voice. Regardless of where you are right now, you are going to the topmost stop in the name of Jesus. You are going to the topmost stop in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray and say, Father, Father, you are the great promoter. Promote me, promote me, pray, 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 pray. You are the great promoter. Promote me. Take me to the heights that I've never risen before. Take me to the heights 
they have never received it to before. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I decree that the great promoter will lift you from where you are and take you to the eye you have never got into before. Financially, maritally, in your ministry, in your health, and in your family. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we are paid. Put your hands together for Jesus. You are doing excellently well. Please be seated. The great promoter, he can pick you from nowhere and take you to somewhere amazing. Mommy Anna, in the book of First Samuel chapter 2, verse 8, First Samuel chapter 2, verse 8, Mommy Anna spoke about the power of God to take a person from the dust, from the dunghill, and place him or her among princes. Let me read that. He raises up the poor out of the dust, and lifted up the beggar from the donkey to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory. Hey, you know, some years ago, I don't remember this now. There was a guy, I think, in France. He was just going home. He was an immigrant there. I think illegal immigrant. And I cited a child that was hanging on the weather feet fly. I don't know whether you remember if some of it. He, the child was hanging there. And people were just looking. And they were wondering what's happening, what's happening. Before the fire, people could come. And that child could just fall down and die. All of a sudden, instinct, he just jumped from the first balcony to the second one to the and he was able to rescue that child do you know that that was a strategy for god to promote him then the next thing we saw he was sitting with the president of france he was given automatic job he was given many things just came god took him from a nobody to somebody that the whole world that was how we even got to know about him there's somebody that God is going to be orchestrating some things within one week that will take you to the eye that you have never imagined you will get to open your mouth and pray and say father you are the great promoter set up situation unto my promotion set up situation unto my promotion pray 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 you are doing it you are doing it you are doing it well pray set up situation for my glorious promotion. Set of situation. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. I decree within one week. God will set up diverse situation unto your promotion. Financial promotion. Career promotion. Ministerial promotion. And promotion on all sides. So shall it be for you. In Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. Put your hands together for Jesus. You are doing very, very excellently well. So, our God is the great promoter. He can use situation to lift you up. Look at Joseph. Joseph was in the prison. And he just told somebody, he assisted some people. Genesis 40. When you read 8 downward. And by the time that one got to the palace, the butler. The Pharaoh had a dream. Who gives people dream? It's God. God set up a dream that will involve the gift of Joseph. There is somebody here. I don't know what to do, whether you're a carpenter, whether you're an engineer. Whether you are a pastor, what that God is setting up a dream in somebody that is able to lift you at that will include you in being called to that palace. And by the reason of you dealing with the issue, you are going to a higher level. So shall it be. Quickly, before I go too far, there are enemies of promotion. What did I say? That God was placing that one in my heart. 
deal with enemies of promotion in this particular service. Because it is not, you gotta promote me, promote me, promote me. Yes, God will promote you. But you too, you have to be ready to combat enemies of promotion. That was why God was telling Jeremiah in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 1, verse 10. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 10. He said that I have I have commissioned you to pull down, to destroy, to cast down. Before he now started talking about planting and building. Your anointing is not just constructive. Your anointing is also destructive. You have to destroy the works of darkness. First John chapter 3, verse 8. First John chapter 3, verse 8. The Bible said that for this purpose, the Son of God has been made manifest to destroy the works of darkness. And you destroy it through prayer. Whenever there is an open door of emotion, the enemies are looking around the corner. In the book of First Corinthians chapter 16, verse 9. First Corinthians 16, 9. The Bible said that a great and effectual door has been opened unto me, but there are many adversaries. Let me read that. For a great door and effectual is open unto me, and there are many adversaries. What are these adversaries? Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. The Bible said that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principality, power. Rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness. These are the forces, forces that do, do forces that do not have physical bodies, forces that cannot be physically seen. Those are the forces we are wrestling against. In the book of Second Corinthians, chapter ten, three and four. Second Corinthians, chapter ten, three and four. The Bible says that even though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. For the weapon of our warfare, they are not carnal. But they are mighty through God to the pulling down of stronghold, casting down imagination. I cause every power that is trying to demote you. I cause every power that is trying to demote you. I say this third time. I cause every power that is trying to demote you. In the name of Jesus, I'll open your mouth and pray and say, Father, I read all the arrestors of my promotion. I raise all the arrestors of my promotion. I raise them. Arrest them, arrest them, arrest all, arrest us of my promotion. Arrest them, arrest all, arrest us of my promotion. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let all arrest us of your promotion on all sides be arrested by God, and let your promotion be without hesitation without hindrance, without barricade anymore. In Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. Please be seated. So there are enemies of promotion that you must wage war against. In the book of Nehemiah chapter 4, 17 and 18. Nehemiah 4, 17 and 18. As Nehemiah and his team were building with one hand, guess what? With the other hand, they were holding sword. That is how you are supposed to do don't just keep building in this life. The devil is a bad devil. He will be messing up things that you are building. Though. Let me just tell you. Don't just build your career. Build your home. Build your ministry. You must, on the other hand, get the sword ready to wage war. The Bible said that with one hand, they were building. With the other hand. Because the enemies they don't want them to build the wall. And whenever there is an open door, you, 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 you help Brother Paul. He said, adversaries, enemies are there to frustrate it. In the book of 2 Kings, chapter 1, 9 to 14. 2 Kings, chapter 1, 9 to 14, you read the account of Elijah. Elijah was on top of a hill. We may know it's a long reading a bit. He was on top of a hill. God had lifted him up because a hill is not a small place. A hill is somewhere at the top. That indicates promotion. God had lifted him to the top. Guess what? And the king, being anointed of the devil, sent from a captain and 50. He said, Go and tell that man, the old man of God. The king said, I should tell you, come down. Oh my God. Every power of come down. Every power of demotion. Every power to reduce you. Let the power die in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Say, Father, Father, 
every power will come down every demotion power expire expire in my life expire 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 let that power expire in my life let it expire every power that will not allow my promotion to stay expire blessed be your name in Jesus mighty name we have prayed every power of come down in your life that you used to do well before but now you are a shadow of who you used to be let that power inspire let that power die regain your position in life so shall it be in Jesus name you are doing very well put your hands together for Jesus he can say it again you know what Elijah now said you, 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 you are telling me to come down how can I come down from the level of millions to thousands how can I come down from the level of being married to being separated or divorced I cannot come down from being pregnant to miscarriage. Anything that is reducing your initial testimony is contrary to promotion. The devil has style, devices, guises in operating against promotion. And Elijah said, if I be a man of God, instead of me coming down, instead of me going down from this promotion, let fire come down. That's why you must be a prayer warrior. You don't have to be in prayer department to be a prayer warrior. Open your mouth and pray and say, Father, anything that is trying to pull me down, from the height you are lifting me up, consume by fire. Consume it by fire. Let such be consumed by fire. Let it be consumed by fire. Let it be consumed by fire. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. God said, I should tell somebody before the middle of next week, you will have gotten the result of this prayer. Thank you, Lord. Very important, please be seated. Enemy of promotion. God. No, no doubt when he has asked and shall be given. But it's not just for you to receive. But there's what they call retain. Receive, retain. Receive. Some people receive, they can't retain. In your body, they say, Amubo. Amubo. You are getting it, but it's dropping from their heart. It is the spirit that is working against their promotion. There was a particularly woman, four children, and the husband. And ah, they decided that they didn't want any more children. This devil. One day they were traveling. The children were the one traveling with the driver or something. How they enter on that trail. And, and you know what? She had gone to tie her womb so that there won't be any mistake of producing. It was after that that these four children in accident just perish. She 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 cried. Where will I start from? That's why the Bible says that let he that thinketh you have anything be careful. Pray. The devil is not happy with your position. The devil is not happy with your prosperity. If you don't pray, you will mess you up. I know what I'm talking about. You must pray with whatever. That's why as you are walking, as you are building, there is sword in your hand to keep on. Jesus Christ told the disciples, watch and pray. Oh. Matthew chapter 26, verse 41. Matthew 26, 41. Watch and pray so that you will not enter into some trouble. There are some people, people there are some troubles people enter into. Why? Because they don't pray. Open your mouth and pray and say, Father, let the spirit of a warrior, spiritual warrior, come upon me and come into me. Pray that prayer. You can be receiving something right now from where you are with that prayer. Let the spirit of a spiritual warrior come upon me. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Receive the spirit of a spiritual warrior so that prayer will not be a body. It will be a delight to you from now on. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Please be seated. This woman, why did the devil wait till she had not tied her womb and she not eradicated that 
Yoruba have a, song, a, a, a word that they used to say. Even though some song writers, they have put it into song. Arambe, Timo Feda, Arayema, Pakata. There are wonders that have been designed with my destiny to perform. Let the world not reverse it. Let them not turn around my glory to shame. When glory is becoming shame, that is demotion. The enemies of promotion, they have set in. This woman, ah, I don't know the, how she now when he told me God. There was a particular lady. She came to us. She had been looking for a job. And she now got a very good job. Interview, she passed everything. Promotion. Because anything you didn't have that you don't have is promotion. And she was now planning to resume. They told her that they would come and do some tests. By the time she went to do one this series of tests, one of the appetite uh, B, it came out positive. Ah. ah, they told her that with this kind of result, because it's contagious, you know, fluid, fluid from the body of who has it, and also infect that kind of thing. Ah, they said that there are some things in this establishment that are HIV appetite we don't, we are sorry but let's look at she came and she was crying in my spirit, I said that have you ever had that kind of history he said, no but I perceived that the enemy was at work I said let's pray and we pray that father reverse that which the enemy had programmed concerning this it, even though she got promoted to having a job the enemy said, ah, you will just see the open door. But enemies of the open door, the adversary said that we will prevent you from entering. And I now, we now pray, and I told her, do you know, go and do another test somewhere else. Check the second opinion. She went. They, those ones said that ah, it's negative. I said, went to, where well, she, she went to another place. Those ones said that it's negative. He now went to the other place that she did it before, after, after the one that they gave to her. Those one were not there. Ah, JB, we have told you that it's negative. I said, ah, okay, you know what? Take, photocopy these results. Go to the establishment or to the lab or the doctor that, it, that gave you that result. And she did that. And the doctor said that it's a lie. These people, they will go and use somebody, they will go and extract somebody's blood to bring for sample. See the way the devil moved again. That is, it, it can't be our own. That, and it was, she came back and said, I see what he said. We prayed. All of a sudden, they called her. They said, ah, sorry, there was a mix up somewhere. If she has allowed it, in addition that she will not even get that job, maybe she will even get that particular sickness. I decree whatever life the enemy that has been introduced into your life, let the power of God knock out of your life. Yeah. Open your mouth and pray and say, Father, blast out of my way every adversary of my promotion. Every adversary of my promotion. Blast out of my way every adversary of my promotion. Blast out of my way. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Let the adversary of your promotion be blasted out of your way. Seize the position that God has designed for you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Wow, 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 wow. You are doing well. Please be seated. You know, when you read the book of Esther, when you read Esther, I think chapter 3, I don't know, the last two verses or so, or chapter two. Mordecai reveal of some people plotting coup against the king and told it to the people in the palace. And they found that investigated, caught those people and killed them. Then the next thing, the next chapter, he said, a man was promoted. Who did the work for God's sake? Who were they supposed to promote? Who were they promoting? Can you give me 
um, the last two verses in chapter 2. Okay. And the thing was known to Mordecai. Esther 2, 22 and 23. And the king, the thing was known to Mordecai, who told it unto Esther, the queen. And Esther certified the king thereof in Mordecai's name. Okay, the next. And when inquisition was made of the matter, it was found out, therefore, they were both hung on a tree. And it was written in the book of the Chronicles before the king. Esther 3 1. It be the person that helped the king not to be eliminated it should be the one that will be promoted. A name that we did not hear. Some people are scheming in places to take your position, but God will frustrate them. After these things, they told us what we just read now. After these things, did King Ahasuerus promote Emma, the son of Amedata and Agagite, and advanced him and set his seat above all the princes that were with him? What of Mordecai? Anyone that has taken your position in any form of promotion, I decree, let such person be displaced. And let God promote you to replace. Let such person be displaced. And let God promote you to replace. For the third time, let such person be displaced. And let God promote you to replace. Very important. But you know what happened? Prayers were said once upon a time. Because it got, to the, it got so bad that they would not want them to kill them. But they said prayer. When they said prayer, when you read the book of Esther chapter 6 verse 1. You know, they told us that Esther told them that it is Mordecai that said this, you know, and they now wrote it in the book of the Chronicles. The book of remembrance. Then when prayers were said, something happened. The Bible said that that night, the king could not sleep. Because somebody that ought to have been promoted, that the promotion had been denied. The, king, the, the kings that must lose their sleep the queens that must lose their sleep concerning your matter so that they will get you to where you ought to be they will lose their sleep I said they shall lose their sleep open your mouth and pray and say Father Father place me where you are designed for me to, to, to be place me place me place me place me thank you Father in Jesus mighty name we have prayed that please be seated that Esther chapter 6 verse 1 Esther chapter 6 verse 1 can you quickly give to me oh there is no time on that night tonight somebody will receive divine visitation could not the king sleep and he commanded to bring the book of record of the chronicles you know they told us in chapter 2 that after Mordecai has already revealed that this is the person they are trying to kill the king oh, quickly go and arrest them oh, and they arrested them they now wrote it was Mordecai that helped also then the next thing so Mago 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 goes off in every quarter and they now put another name instead of the one that all two people that did the work but when prayers were said the king could not sleep he now said I feel like hearing things that they have written in the book of Chronicles. Go and bring it. On that night, could not the king sleep? And he commanded to bring the book of records of the Chronicles. And they were read before the king. Continue. And it was found written that Mordecai had told of Big Tana and Teresh, two of the king's chamberlains, the keeper of the door. Who sought to lay hand on the king Azeros? Three. And the king said, What honor and dignity had been done to Mordecai for this? Then said the king's servant that ministered unto him, There is nothing done for him. Ah, the king said, I'm going to promote this guy. There is somebody that before the end of today, it will enter the 
mind and the spirit or the one that has the ability to promote you whether financially career in your ministry or in your health to do the promotion for you in the name of jesus open your mind and pray and say father open the book of remembrance concerning me and promote me promote me promote me promote me open the book of remembrance concerning me and promote me promote me open the book of remembrance concerning me concerning my family concerning my ministry promote me in jesus mighty name we have prayed let the book of remembrance be open concerning you and let the one that god has designed to promote you be activated and do the promotion in 24 hours so have I decreed so shall it be so shall you receive in Jesus mighty name we have prayed say so I receive God bless you put your hands together for Jesus you are doing extremely well so that was how he was promoted I will have told you many other stories of how God bypassed some processes to promote people God bypassing processes. Oh. David was number eight, but God took him to number one. God is not a respecter of whether you are fine, whether you can speak grammar, whether you can, you know, but there are some principles that God has laid down. But let me quickly tell you two things about the devil. Number one, concerning promotion, the devil is a liar. What did I say? He said, You may be down now. Don't believe the fact that you will remain down. You may not have some things now. He will be lying to you. In the book of John chapter 8, 44. John 8, 44. The Bible said that he's the father of life. He, he lied from the beginning. From the beginning. Garden of Eden. He said he had been lying from the beginning. And he is the father of it. He came to Eve. In Genesis chapter 3, 4 and 5. Genesis chapter 3, 4 and 5. He said that, hey, what did God even tell you, sir? Did God say that you should not eat? He, he wanted to know how they believe. That was a, God said that we should not eat. You can eat of any tree here. But this particular one, we should not eat. Ah, 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 ah. God has fooled you, people. Oh. God has fooled you. Yeah, why are you saying that? The day you will eat it, you will be like God. Ah! Lie. And that one has started working on lie. He said, ah, let us go and eat it. And that was how, from the promotion, they were now demoted. He said they would be like God. Guess what? In the book of Genesis 1, 27, Genesis 1, the Bible said that, so God created man in the... They were already like God. Lack of knowledge leads to many people's demotion. Not knowing who they are in Christ. Not knowing God. Has, the, the people that are doing yahoo, yahoo, yahoo. It don't, it because they don't know that in their destiny, they are wealthier than what they are trying to extort. If you catch the revelation of who you are, it does not matter what you do. I mean, I mean, people look at me, I don't have any. I know who I am. That's why I can mean, be doing as if I mean, I don't know anything. But I know who I am and I know where God is taking me to. Very glorious. It does not matter what is against me now. I will get there. Open your mouth say, I will get there. I refuse to believe the lie of the devil. I will get there. That is what you should because the devil, the devil will be lying to you that this is how it will continue. It's a lie. The Bible says that surely there is an end. Proverbs 23 18. The expectation of the righteous shall not be cut. Don't believe the lie of the devil. The number two thing that the devil does is try to put fear in you. Fear is one of his greatest weapons. Put fear. Please be seated. He tried to put fear. But we have been told in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. 2 Timothy 1, 7. Where is it that God has not given us the spirit of fear? It is not God that gives you the spirit of fear. Fear! It will cause you to hear things. Don't travel. Oh. And where you are supposed to travel to, there is promotion waiting for you. 
Ah, don't travel. Oh. Don't enter plane. Oh. He will cause you to hear the one that cried. He said, said the devil is a liar. Liar. And he tried to put fear in people. Even when you feel fear, it's not that you will not be afraid. As human beings, fear is one of our human emotions. Especially when we are confronted things that we are not really sure of. Fear comes. But regardless of the fear, make progress. When you read the book of Judges chapter 7, there are so many things I want, I want to say, but I'm just trying to, everything is just packing together. Judges chapter 7, when you read it, God told Joshua, um, Gideon, he said that 22,000 people were too, 32,000 people, they were too much. He said, go and tell the people that if you are afraid, please go back. 22,000 went back. Out of 32,000, if 22,000 went back, how many people left? 10,000. God said to Gideon, said that they are too much. Ah! Gideon will be afraid. We are going against 120,000 soldiers. Three nations. And 32,000 originally, I was thinking that we are even short change. And you have not removed 22,000. And you are not telling me 10,000. Too much. God said too much. He said, go to the water side. I will help you to disqualify the other people. And he said that anybody that is drinking water, kneeling down, drinking water, putting the mouth in the water, set them on this side. But anyone that is just bending down, scooping the water like this, set them on this side. And the ones that were kneeling down with their face in the water, they were 900 and 9,700 and only 300 were scooping the water. He said all these 9,700 disqualified them. Ah! Suicide. Suicide mission. Me that I'm saying that is 32,000. He said anybody that always have, and I usually use it for our workers and any, any seminar that I do. When he, your aspiration is too embedded in your test or your desire. You are not qualified for this work of the kingdom. But when you are satisfying your test, but you are looking forward, your vision is a clear to see and to fight the enemy. God said that yes, this one will be a general in my kingdom. Then he now told you, uh, Gideon, if you are afraid, go and hear what the enemies are saying. I thought Gideon will not go. When I read that, Judges chapter 7, Gideon went to hear what the, meaning he too was afraid. But he see God victory. What am I trying to say? It does not mean that you will not be afraid sometimes. But once God tells you to go forward, go forward. I decree into your life, your promotion is sure. Your promotion is certain. Every enemy of your promotion, let them disappear. Any attitude that you have that is not aligned with promotion, let God help you to change it. Open your mouth and pray and say, Father, take me to the top of the topmost top as we begin to bring out our offering. Let's start bringing our offering. Take me to the top of the topmost top. Take me to the top of the topmost top. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. We'll be bringing out our offering right now, but let me just drop a few points that you two, you need to continue in doing for your promotion to be consistent. Number one, keep on praying. Number two, keep on praising God. Number three, continue to be diligent in the things of God. Then, keep yourself to planning and preparing so that whenever opportunity comes, you rise with it. You will not go down again. You will not go down again. In the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for this seed that we are about to drop. We are dropping it with cheer, with joy. Because we know that things have happened in this meeting. That will take us to the new level. In Jesus' mighty name. Fire, just give us a song. Thank you, Jesus. You are the honor of our soul. Alpha Omega. You are worthy to be praised in our, in our generation. There is no one like you. Yeah. Alpha and Omega, you are worthy to be praised.
Body to be praised, oh Lord. Body to be praised, oh Lord. You are worthy to be praised, oh Lord. You are worthy to be praised, oh Lord. You are worthy to be praised, man. You are worthy to be praised, man. Amen. Father, we thank you for the seed that you are giving unto us to sow. Be glorified in the name of Jesus. Please receive this token from us and bless us the more. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. God bless you. Please be seated briefly. Later today, there's going to be a service here, but this service is going to be more powerful than this one. No. It's vigil. It is time for you to come and have victory. There are some victories that are best gotten in the night. Go and ask Jacob. He wrestled overnight and he got victory. You will get your victory. So we here at um, 11, 11 p.m. Please be here. And invite people when you are coming so that the victory they will get, they will also use it to even help you. And God will bless us in the name of Jesus. Once again, I want to bless God for this opportunity and I want to thank my daddy and mommy for giving me this opportunity to wear their big shoes. Their shoes are too big for me. I hope I've not, I've not misbehaved because my own leg compared to Pastor Abosheso is like baby leg, but his leg is very big. God will continually bless them where they are. Shall we rise to our feet and just wave our hands? Say, Father, thank you. For what you have done for me in this service i am going to be testifying to your goodness to your mercy thank you father blessed be your holy name in jesus mighty name we have prayed father let that be a performance of everything you have used us to declare here we that are here and our brethren that are online let us testify in jesus mighty name the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, your goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen.